Hey everybody, happy October. Um, this is going to be the video for the readings for each zodiac sign for the month of October. So whatever I go over, basically my purpose is to kind of give you a bit, little bit of clarity or guidance on stuff that you need to focus for this month only, okay? So uh, as always, I like to go quick and straight to the point. So let's go ahead and start over with Aquarius. Let me see what we have for Aquarius. So Aquarius, what I do see for you, it's going to be starting new projects. It also gives me a type of traveling, so you could also be traveling, but I feel like it's more of starting a project. Um, just be careful with people trying to discourage you for this thing, because I feel like it's something that you've been wanting to or you've been planning to do or go somewhere um, or start something. But I feel like you have other people telling you things like not to do it and you also have like yourself doubting you know yourself so this month i really want you to focus on thinking about your passions and not listening to others basically okay so let's go ahead and move on with pisces okay pisces so i do see somebody helping you in the aspect of education or kind of development in your career you just need to accept it because i feel like there is an opportunity for you to grow i feel like this could be either in a school kind of educational way or if you're working it could be something like a race or some kind of career development so maybe a race or something and there's somebody that's going to be teaching you, somebody that's going to be helping you through whatever process you're doing. You just really need to pay attention to that because I feel like you're kind of ignoring the opportunity and that's obviously not good. So that's something to look, look out for in this month. Okay, so we, let's go ahead and move with Aries. Aries, Aries. Okay, Aries, so the month of October, you need to slow down. I feel like you're working too hard, which is good. Um, I remember a lot of Aries, I don't know if it was last month or two months ago, but it was a lot of new beginnings um, in the work kind of money side. But I feel like may maybe now that you, you've been working, you've been um, putting too much pa passion into what you're doing, which is good. However, there is a limit to the things that you want to do because then you're going to you know, burn yourself out and you don't want to do that. So it's telling me to kind of chill out, <laughs> basically, in that part of your life. I'm not telling you to be lazy or anything, just kind of balance out, you know, pay attention to other things out of work, basically. Okay, let's go ahead and move with Taurus. So, Taurus... Taurus, this is talking to me about kind of a disappointment or somebody lied to you. Somebody either lied to you or somebody disappointed you. Somebody took advantage of you. Um, you need this month. That's really what it is. And you need to move. It's, it's like you moving away from this and it hurts. But there was some kind of disappointment in something or somebody disappointing you. Somebody took advantage, basically. And that is basically telling you what this what you need to do this month is really to move on. Um, you need to find somebody to help you with that. Maybe there's friends that have been trying to help you or really yourself, your higher self. And you're kind of in denial. But I do want you to focus on moving away from like the past past like hurts basically. So that's that for you, Taurus. Let's go ahead and go with Gemini. Ooh, Gemini. Gemini, I have a very... You're going to have a very spiritual month. So he's talking to me about hope. And kind of... I guess... Uplifting your spirit. Um, 
I, I don't know if this half couple of half months couple of past months you have been sort of like doubting yourself in a spiritual way so it doesn't have to be it could be religious too um but you've been doubting spirituality or kind of like that um this month i really want you to focus on spiritual activity so if you go to church go ahead and make sure you attend a little bit more if you pray pray a little bit more just basically connect with spirit basically uh connect with god connect with all of that because that's gonna help you in that i feel like this has been a kind of like a rough month for you this past this past couple of months i'm sorry um so that's that okay let's go ahead and move on with cancer Ooh, cancer so october is gonna be a lot of new beginnings and you kind of planning your future uh, this guy right here to me he's kind of like contemplating new starts so a lot of you guys either already went to a fresh start or you will be going through a fresh start for this month but there's a lot of planning you just really need to be careful not to be fooled or not to be distracted from that planning you know like don't don't get all their mundane stuff or material stuff to get you away from yourself from your planning because after all it's about you so there's that let's go ahead and move with leo leo so it's talking to me it's talking to me about money um there was there this, i feel like the month of october there's a chance i feel like at this point this month of coming or i guess now since it's still september but at this point transition into october you have been given the opportunity to maybe save money or get money but there's some kind of like collective like this month or yeah september or october you kind of had the opportunity to save money and you have to be careful not to overspend so i don't know if you got a raise or if you just save money and now you're spending it in things that you like or something like that but it's telling me to basically be careful with overspending so balance that out let's go ahead and move on with virgo okay virgo this is gonna be a good month for you in terms of money and in terms of emotional balance um the only thing that i can tell you is not to be too focused on the money because right now it's telling me that uh october is going to be like i said a good opportunity of monetary monetary uh month but it might come to the point where like you're too focused on the money so try to balance the money and your emotional uh self i guess like your emotions basically but it's gonna be a good month overall so that's for you Let's go ahead and move with Libra. <sighs> Libra, this month, it has to do with emotion, relationships, love, kind of like that. Um, you need to be careful because there's going to be people or situations that mm, you might feel like attacked i guess like you're like you know like people attacking you or situations seem to not like that situations not seem not to get away you know from you um and that might hurt you emotional emotionally just what i can tell you is to look out for that basically you know try to stay away from those people from bad situations i really really recommend you to do prayer and really focus on yourself so you don't get caught up in all that bad stuff okay let's go ahead and move on with scorpio let's see oh scorpio it's gonna be a good month for you scorpio you're this month of october and this is this just came to me right now so for you i feel like october it's the beginning of a ending cycle so october november december for you are gonna be like you're ending a cycle you're not going to be able to end it all in october but this last month of the year it's going to be something it's like you completed something 
Um, I don't know, obviously I don't know what it is because it's, it's just a general reading, but it's for a lot of you, it's gonna be completing a cycle of something. And you know, it's not like in a bad way, like you know, you end like a relationship and it hurts. No, it's more like uh, you move to a better things or you move to a better relationship. It's something for the better, but you, you're closing a situation and it's good because it's gonna bring stability emotionally. So I feel like maybe you've been a lot, like very stressed because of your situation this year, but the closing of this year or the cycle is gonna be really, really good, okay? So that's for you, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and move on with Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, I feel like this has to do with work. Um, there's gonna be a little bit of people not necessarily bothering you, but not agreeing with the stuff that you do, or not agreeing with the way that you do stuff. So I'm not sure if you started a new role or if you just decided to do things to change up the routine at work, but there's gonna be a lot of people disagreeing with you. You just need to really, really, uh, not let not don't let that get to you basically now there's also somebody in that situation which is work that it's going to help you with that because i do see people like arguing with you about something that they don't like but there's gonna be somebody that's over them or somebody that's able, able to help you and resolve those issues and at the end it's gonna be okay like basically everything is gonna turn down to be okay um, you're gonna have celebration. It's gonna be a good thing, but just be careful not to Really the warning is that it is gonna happen. There's gonna be uh, conflict And you will be resolved. The only thing that can go wrong is if you let yourself, you know Get caught up in all of that. Just kind of ignore it and let a superior person, you know, take care of the situation basically And last but not least Capricorn Okay, Capricorn, so there's going to be, you have a lot of choices for the month of October, Capricorn. Um, it's telling me about moving, so I'm not sure if you're moving to a new home or if you're moving out of your house. It's something to do with moving or changing, something changes, changing or moving, and you have so much choices. Um, you really need to be careful with not trusting yourself. Sometimes we don't trust our own intuition. The best thing that I can tell you for this month is if you are going through a change, if it's either like a new home or maybe a new career or something new, um, just follow your heart. Don't let other people's opinions get in the way. Okay. So that's pretty much it for the month of October, guys. Um, I haven't been advertising my readings as much as I used to this past month because as you guys know it's been a very busy month for me um there's a lot of changes going on personally for me um but i do still do readings i just don't have i just won't have the same amount of time that i used to have but yes they're still available so if you're interested in a more in-depth reading or if there's questions that you have about you know the reading that you got this month that are more particular to you then just contact me we'll go ahead and set up a time and then we'll go from there other than that, you guys have a great um, October and I'm so excited towards the end of the month because what I will do next, like starting November 1st, I'm going to do what I call an annual reading. So like a yearly reading, basically. It's gonna be, it's gonna go over your, it's like a forecast of your whole year for 2020. So I'm very excited to share that with you. And of course it won't be as short as I do this video. It's gonna be actually like a longer, video and it's going to be a video for each sign so it's more in detail and i do have a uh, yearly uh, forecast for people individually so if you want one private for you that's you know just for you then you can reach out to me and we can work that out as well okay you guys have a great rest of the month bye bye